I'm it's going a to... slow cooked lamb. Yeah, breast lamb, Spanish style, called Cordero al Chilindro. Unpronounceable. <laughs> that might sound nice when you say it. Yeah, so I'm going to just season this uh, shoulder of lamb with a little bit of black pepper. I've used the cheap cut of meat mm -hmm. because, uh, you know, it will be cooked for quite a long time, so that will uh, make it very tender. But obviously, if you are doing a dining, a bit of a dinner at home, you could use a lamb shank, mm -hmm. make it a bit fancier. So just a little bit of cumin, black pepper. I'm going to season it a little bit and flour to coat it. Oh, it's already beginning to smell lovely. <laughs> yes, and now I'm going to put it into a hot pan and I'm going to sear it on all sides. This will brown all, all the meat and caramelize it. The longer you leave it in there, the browner it will get and the, the more color, Mm. the more flavour it will have, literally. That's the, that's the equation. To you. you're, you're about to add colour. Colour will come as we progress throughout uh, this whole thing. <laughs> exactly. But that, that caramelising as well gives it some flavour as well. Yes. It? It's so, funny, cumin isn't a, isn't a spice that I would associate with Spanish cooking, actually. That's, yeah. I would think of Indian food. Or... But uh, remember, Spain has been an Arab country for many, many centuries. Huh? So all the spices, the saffrons, the cumins, even the paprikas, all come from yeah. that. And, and you have Indian in your heritage. I do too. Yes. I'm a quarter Indian. I'm yeah, a quarter right. Indian, actually. Not many people know that. Yeah, there'll be a quarter of this recipe which will be highly Indian influenced <laughs> yeah. as a result. So I'm just going to turn it around. It's getting a little bit of colour. Obviously, we are rushing everything you've, yeah, today. Yeah, so you've got one there. You've I have done, yeah. already uh, half of the recipe is already yeah. browned in here. And uh, now with a little bit of browning, and we should take it away pretty mm. soon. OK? OK. Let's put it over here. I have a, you know, somebody was asking me before, what differentiates this stew from sort of what you will do? Mm. You know, what's the because, difference? Yeah. And uh, you, you cook it uh, quite differently, I must say, uh, lamb stews. Uh, and what we use as well a lot is peppers. You don't yeah. stew with peppers very much. You always use more potatoes, root carrots, root yeah. vegetables. In Spain, we use a lot of peppers, which gives a completely distinctive yeah. flavour. Plenty of comfort in recipes yeah. in there. So what's going in there? A little bit of thyme in that hole. You see it's smoking. Mm -hmm. One bay leaf and then the vegetables. Spanish onions, quite a lot. Sliced carrot mm -hmm. goes in all at the same time. Green peppers, red peppers and a sliced garlic. Ah. Right? We're going to give it all a really good stir. And again, if we would have the time, this should take about 20 minutes. Mm. Brown it as much as you can. And seriously, don't even be scared of getting to black colours, yeah. you know. Right. Give it a little stir. And now we are just going to add this pimenton, sweet paprika. Pimenton, sweet paprika. And there is a difference, OK? I'm just going to put about a teaspoon. The difference between paprikas generally and Spanish paprika, mm. pimenton, is that in Spain we smoke the peppers yes. and grind them into this beautiful mm. powder. In the rest of the world, generally, they sun dry them. Right. So it doesn't have the depth of flavour. We've got a couple of minutes left now. All right. So we'll now, a check. Yeah, a little bit of tomatoes, fresh. We could use tin as well. All right, over here. And this will deglaze all those brown bits mm. in the bottom. We're going to put all the meat back into the pan. And now we are going to flambe it, if possible. Oh, or okay. Not. No, no, Stand it's not time. going to. It's not going to <laughs> flame. Uh, I don't have my long hair to worry about <laughs> anymore, as well. But this will. This will give it a lot of and acidity. What was that? White wine. This is white wine. You know, if, if we would use red wine, it'll be more of a lamb bourguignon yeah. that we are more used to. But in Spain, you know, we we use white wine for this type of stews. A little bit more seasoning. A bit of and salt. is that the only liquid you put in the wine? No, I'm oh. going to add water. So we will leave that wine reduced down all the way, then add the water and we will leave it braising or simmer it with the lid on or in the oven that you yeah. said, you like one pot dishes, for about two, two to three hours. So slowly cooking it? Exactly, yeah. until it tenderizes. Okay. And the sauce becomes, instead of a soup that it looks now, it'll become... Ooh. This Ooh, lovely, rich stew with a 
quite a decadent. Just, oh, just, look just put it back up. where it was, and we'll get the uh, the camera shot on yeah, it there. Take so, a uh, look. There it is. That's oh, isn't that nice? Mm. Look who's turned up. Whenever the lid comes off the pan, <laughs> Rylan appears. Look. <laughs> oh, there you go. Rylan is a very good cook. Look at lunch. Let me yeah, just bring it over here so that you guys can <laughs> give that it a good taste. Things. And what would you serve that with? Just some crusty bread or something? Yes, yeah. or some potato. No, more more with potatoes. To be oh. honest, let me just uh, put a few potatoes over here. More than rice, to be honest with you. More than rice. Yes, and but as you said, bread will do just as well as well, <laughs> just as good. I've got you mine. I don't know what you two are doing. This very <laughs> thick sauce. <laughs> this that's, is very you, Ruth. That's it's very what me, it is isn't about. it? I'm and definitely it's not, be trying not this. Not spicy at all. Okay, so you can okay. just dig in. It's a bit brown there you go, Rylan. and sexy, but uh, <laughs> I brown and sexy. <laughs> is good. Brown and sexy is very but, uh, good. But really home. nice. Good job. Good Thank job. You, Thank you Omar. very much. Good to see you. Alla boy, they should be calling this Atta boy. Atta boy. <laughs> well done. Atta boy. Thank you, Omar. Thank you very much indeed. Pleasure. Now, when Rylan finishes um, having a nibble at this, he will be back with this.